everyone, it's Claire at Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to a little unbagging video. So, these goodies have been sent to me by um, the folks over at Whisk F. Um, they are traditionally a, um, like a tote bag company, but um, I went and took a look on their store to go and see what they had that could be related to um, and would work for diamond painting. And I managed to find a couple of things that I hope will work. So I'm going to do an unbagging. So here is the first. Let's do the pink one first. So let's get it out of the packet to avoid all of the crinkling. And I will show you what I'm going to be using this for. So obviously it's been in transit, so it does need a little bit of puffing up. But how cute is this little storage bag? So they've got a couple on there that say different things, but I went with the one that said stuff because that's pretty much what I have for diamond painting. And it's got clear sides, so I'll be able to see very quickly what exactly I have in here. Um, the, the zip actually feels really good quality as well. And the reason I say that is because sometimes with the more budget friendly stuff, um, the zips can feel quite um, stiff and stuck, but that opens really nicely. Um, so yes, I love the um, the style of this. So it's kind of um, like, like a fluffy felted um, fabric on there, along with some glitter. And is that stitched on? Yeah, it's actually stitched onto the plastic as well, so no issue with that falling off. The reason I picked this one up is because I thought it'd be a great place for me to be able to house my special projects. So I have a um, coaster kit, and I have these just randomly in my um, in my cart, um, and they don't really have a place as such. So I have that, and I also have a um book chain a book chain a bookmark kit that again doesn't have a home but i thought if i just put all of my special projects in here then i'll just have a place to be able to store them and then if i want to come and do a special project um i can just come to this bag instead of um finding out where I've, I've I use a um a cart system from IKEA that's got three tiers but that's got all of my tools and my drills for my paintings and stuff um so yeah my special projects just kind of get shoved wherever there's a little bit of a gap so um I thought this would be perfect to be able to store my um special projects and um I don't have that many and I don't plan to have that many so actually this size is perfect for me um to keep that in in terms of um, actual size so you are looking at about 23 and a half centimeters across and uh, about 16 centimeters um, that way front to back <laughs> and then deep you are looking at about 11 and a half centimeters deep um, it has a lovely strap on the top as well so actually I'm quite impressed um, lovely sturdy bottom the stitching on it I can't see any thread coming off so actually I'm really impressed so um really chuffed with that so a great place for me to be able to store my special projects so let's take a look at the second item that I chose so this one comes in a whole manner of different colors and rather than going with the typical pink that I would normally go with, I actually chose this in a, I think it's actually called baby blue. So this one really intrigued me because it looked, oh, okay. So let me get the packaging out. So when I saw this, I thought well, this looked quite interesting because this seemed to open up quite wide. And then when you do it up, it's kind of like, it's like a diamond, almost like, a diamond um but i thought this was quite handy so you can use this of course i think traditionally you're going to be using this for um <clears throat> things like makeup so it's kind of got it's just one big area but it has got a 
a zip compartment in the middle but it's not attached at the bottom so anything you put in will end up in either side and I think it needs to be that way in order for it to be able to fold up and do up um, it's got a lovely sturdy handle that is stitched onto um, the um, the rest of the bag so that's not stuck on and then in this side there's an elasticated pocket and then in this side there's two elasticated pockets so my thought on this one was um, if I was to go away and want to take my diamond painting tools, um, currently I have it in, let's see if I can get this out of my thing without wrecking the joint. So I have it in one of these. Now this is obviously not very um, transport friendly. Um, this isn't all of my um, tools either. So um, in terms of me being able to pick this up and take it with me, um, it's not going to happen. So I thought maybe... I could pop my pens in, my scissors, and I have a couple of trays that I can pop in. I'm just going to see how much this is actually going to take. And then I have my little <clears throat> resin tray, some tweezers, and my other pen, and some putty, and what else would I normally put in? um let's see actually would it actually hold my release paper pack that might have to go on the side oh i'm interested to see how much how much i can get in here with this closing this up then i've got a couple of washies i can put those in there um then i have i've got some spare tips i don't tend to take those with me um i've got my ceramic cutter my pencil and a little spoon my little brush I'm just going to load this up to see how much this takes. I've got a sticky mat, um, maybe my little cutter and my measuring tape. Let's, let's put it in. Let's see what happens. Bigger tray. Um, what else have I got? Let's put, let's put some more trays. I just want to see how, what's the capacity on this. Clips. Okay. Oh my goodness me, this is actually going to hold it all. And then I've got some more putties, another resin tray. Um, I'm kind of out of stuff for me to be able to add in. So let's see. <clears throat> I might have to move that resin tray there. But I can actually... Oops, it might just take a little bit of have to hold it together because um it's the style of the bag and then i'm just going to zip that across and zip that down look at that all of that stuff i have just managed to get into this bag so if i want to um take my diamond painting away with me um then i can easily fit a lot of my supplies so you saw the amount of things that i got in here my resin trays my um drill trays my pens my tweezers a whole load of wax washi my cover paper book um clips measuring tape not that i'd need that on the go but it was what i had on my desk um i got a ton in here and then it just opens up and it sits lovely and flat on the desk as well so actually i'm very very impressed with this um so i will leave all of the details for this and the um little stuff bag as i said there's a couple of different designs of this um i'll leave the details in the description box down below um, if you want to go and check it out, please feel free to do so. Um, any details that they've supplied or discount codes, etc. will be linked in the description box down below. So do check those out. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. And I'm really, um, I'm really excited and really happy to have this, knowing that I can just shove all of my stuff in and zip it up and just take it with me. So it does what I was hoping it was going to do. So absolutely perfect. So thanks very much for joining me for today's little unbagging. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I upload. Um, and drop me any comments in that comment section down below, even if just to say hello. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye! Bye.